Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, no, Monday, 9 27, 2021, or 27 9, 2021, right? I guess it all depends on. I guess it all depends on what you what you um date however you date good morning bruce how you doing bruce yo what's up how's my sound how's my uh video feed is it okay wandering brit how you doing wandering brit yo philly <clears throat> aloha from molokai hawaii missing the philippines now Hernan Gilman, how you doing, Hernan? Kathy, good morning, Kathy. That's all right, Kathy. Uh, thanks for joining us. I hope your mother is doing well. Um, you know, that's the things you got to do. Take care of family member when they get sick or when they need help. That's just, that's how life is, right? But thanks for joining, Kathy. You're good. Andy H says, I'm good. Thank you, Andy. Traveling Monkey says, I'm doing good. Good, good sound, good sound. I know it looks backwards again. You know, people, good morning, James. People have said, ah, you know, flip your flag around. It's wrong. It's backwards. My camera right now is backwards. Because right over, hang on, or is it right? Be on my left. I guess it is right now. I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> but I used my camera one time and, uh, the camera on my phone, I, and I've corrected that. It flipped everything backwards, and <clears throat> people were saying, your flag's backwards, fix your flag. Um, actually, I don't know. I think it's backwards because I'm putting where the door should be. Eh, you guys get it. <laughs> uh mm -hmm. Tim Diaz, good morning to you. Jim, hello, good morning to you also. Love lies in the Philippines. How are you doing? What's up, Brian and Luis from Texas, Dallas area. Robert Lee, how are you? Robert, when's that Cowboys Eagles game? Is that? Monday, a Monday night game. I thought it was on tonight. Well, which I thought it was a Sunday night game, and I got a game on, but it's not the Cowboys. Um, actually, the 49ers game is playing in the background. Listening to you live from Walmart to look and I to look, tell look I said hi. Okay, I think that's what you mean, Andy. Put me on the go over to the loudspeaker and put me on the loudspeaker. <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. Not backwards now. Okay, Bruce. All right. Thank you. Since Bing Bing is now that age, since Bing Bing is now that age, are you guys going to get her a set of braces for her teeth? Um, James, we have to get her to the dentist first, um, which we plan on doing. Um, because they, they got to make sure that, you know, her teeth are okay. I don't even know if she's ever been to a dentist. I have no clue. Um, we have to get her down, make sure her teeth are okay. That if she has cavities, they're going to want to clean her cavities and fix her cavities first. Um, but, yes, we do plan to get them, well, actually both, Hannah and Bing Bing, um, braces, 24 hours, Eagles, Cowboy. Okay. So that'll be tomorrow morning. The Cowboys game will be on because it's Sunday night back in the States. So I'm watching. I got the Sunday night game on. I think it's a Sunday night game. It's the late game. And then uh, Monday night will be tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. I love that uh, fire stick. I, I love it. Um, yesterday I turned on and watched a couple uh, college games. And, uh, and I have access to the NFL. 
Great investment. Great investment for the Philippines. Greetings from San Francisco, California. Great gift you gave to the Mrs. Philly. Would you get in trouble if you drank outside? No. No. Um, you know, they had that alcohol ban and um, alcohol banned. It's on paper. Um, no. I could sit down on my front porch and I could drink and nobody's going to say anything to me. You just can't purchase it, right? Uh, but I can go into Lazada and I can get alcohol shipped to me via Lazada. You go right over here to Dao. You can buy alcohol in Dao. You can go to San Fernando. You can go on to Clark. You can even go in Manila now and they're serving alcohol. I don't know why they're not. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big alcohol person, big drink. But you know what? I, I just don't see the reasoning right now in Angeles City behind this. Um, I have no clue. I, I no clue. Um, and somebody even told me down in Barrio Barreto that there's a band down there. Who knows? Who who knows? Um, I guess the rocket scientists running it know why. Uh, but no, I I wouldn't go outside. And get in trouble. Um, yeah. Look, likes that Grey Goose. I, I like that Grey Goose, too. And it, it's not cheap here. You know, some alcohol you buy here is, you know, it's reasonable. But then the others, boy, they're expensive. But you can pick it all up. SNR has a very nice selection. Uh, somebody asked... I guess maybe somebody asked about financing a car. I just kind of called Bruce's. Uh, Edward, hello from Western Pennsylvania. Okay, Eagles Dallas Monday night game. I'm Las Vegas. Hello from Las Vegas. Just down the road from you in Glassboro, Jersey Brian. Jersey Brian, how's it going? It will be a tough game for the Eagles. You know what, though? I'm not an Eagles fan. I'm actually a Dallas Cowboy fan. Uh, and you know what? Eagle, Cowboy games. And it, it it's always been a rival. You could have the Eagles... In last place in division, not even a contender for the playoffs, play Dallas. And they're they're always a good – most of the time they're a good close game. It's that rivalry there. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Cowboys fan. Uh, small steps, Brian with Bing Bing. It's a big responsibility to take care of a child and admire you for taking Bing as your own. Thank you, Andy H., uh, she is, she went to, look, went to her school on Thursday and uh, turned in her, her paperwork for the week because she's on uh, modular. In other words, they get their paperwork, they come home for a week, they do all their paperwork and their subjects. Lud has to sit with her uh, for the most part and kind of help her through her her, her class because, and, and this is a sad, once again, the sad reality here um, for the past year, these kids, you know, out in the provinces, even here in the city, they have not had the classroom education. So if a child brings their work home and you got parents that don't understand the English language and read it. And they, they, they don't have that education to even help their child with their classworks. And the child can't sit and, and, and comprehend what they're reading. It's a mess. It's a mess. And that's what happened in the province. And that's what's happening a lot. They, they actually pay people to do these kids' homework. And that's a sad reality. And What's going to happen is these kids are going to be behind. They're going to be behind. But look does sit with her and help her comprehend and understand what she's reading and help her with her work. Um, 
Vlick does it every day. Uh, they gave her a tablet now. The school gave tablets to the kids, so now their work is on a tablet. They still have to write answers down on a piece of paper and submit it. Um, <clears throat> but these kids are going to be behind. <clears throat> They're just going to be behind. Um, classroom settings for these kids is the best thing, especially here. Um, you know, they got so many distractions at home and, you know, between brothers and sisters and cousins running in and out and them wanting to play and parents not, you know, being able to help them. It's a mess. It's a mess. Um, somebody said, well, why don't you get Bing Bing enrolled in the school where Hannah's at? She couldn't. Hannah, when Hannah entered that school and all kids that enter that school, they have to take a comprehension test. And Bing Bing couldn't take the comprehension test. She wouldn't be able to pass it. Um, so, but hey, we're, we're doing our best. We're doing our best. That's all you can do. <laughs> Sorry to hear you're a Cowboys fan. That's not Philly style. Yeah. Hey, mate, how you doing? Mark, I am doing good. Scott, I am trying to get back there. Scott, hang in there. Um, I, I, uh, um, they're slowly, I mean, they're opening things, you know, Manila, VGC and all that just came off of, you know, this lockdown they have and they've extended, uh, you know, the, the um, curfew times, things are opening up and we can only keep hoping things will keep opening up and in a month from now or whatever, you know, the, the, what's next? You got the echo, the echo virus doesn't pop up. Um, they are vaccinating. People are getting vaccinated. Um, the mall, SM Clark, you can go up in SM Clark on the second floor by the theater. You can walk in, sign up, get vaccinated. Um, they are vaccinating people. Things have to move forward. They have to. Um, but here's the thing I read last week where they said, what is it? Up, upwards to 20,000 people are uh, testing positive. Now, my theory on testing positive, there's a lot of false negatives out there. So I don't believe the numbers. Um, but only thing, hopefully things can move. I found out I can now go down to Puerto Galera. I don't need to get a swab test. They are accepting a vaccination card. So they're starting to allow people to, those that are here to move within the Philippines, which is showing a proof of a vaccination card. Um, you guys probably heard it. I read it. Starting November, the states is saying they're going to start allowing tourism back into the states, provided you can show proof of vaccination. And I said that months ago. I think that's how the world's going to roll. That's how it's going to roll. So, like I say, I, and I said this, if, you, if you're if you coming here and you plan to come here, get those vaccinations. Um, those that say I'm, I'm not a sheep, I'm not going to follow what they're telling me to do. But you know what? I love the Philippines. I want to come to the Philippines. Well, guess what, Mr. Sheep? You ain't going to be coming if that's the requirement. Uh, but, yeah, just hang in there. And don't do the crazy thing. I'm doing good. Don't do the crazy thing and go out and marry a stranger you never met but online, right? Don't do the crazy thing. <laughs> go Eagles. No, no. Go Cowboys. I've been to the Jollibee in New Jersey City, New Jersey. In Jersey City, New Jersey, right off 440. How are the prices? How are the prices? Are they, are they equivalent to the, the Philippines? Ace Bachelor, how you doing? I know Ace Bachelor cannot wait to get over here because he is the next YouTube star, according to Ace Bachelor. <laughs> Bro.
Brian shows how much we love our time there in the Philippines. All wanting to return as soon as possible. Also, it's good for their economy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They need to get money into the economy. Wait, I thought you had a wife and children there. You were allowed? I don't know what you mean. What did I miss? Edward says, I got my shots and hope to come to the Philippines spring of next year. My thoughts, I think spring. I really do. Then again, you got this election coming up here in the Philippines. Uh, so who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? One step at a time. Daryl, how are you doing, Daryl? Things are moving. Things will move forward, Brian. I really believe that. Yes, I, they can only go forward, right? I mean, I, they can only go forward. The thing is, you know, like driving around here in Angeles and going places, you would think, aside from mass, things are open. People are out. People are about. People are buying things. Um, you would think it's open. I mean, granted, you go to the mall, and in the past, the, the malls were always filled a lot with teenagers and also with families bringing their kids there um but even the malls are open you know and people are going to the malls we don't have to wear shields now but we have to wear them in a mall um look tried to take hannah into robinson mall the other day uh because she needed something for school and they told her 18 you got to be 18 or older to come in the mall so that's robinson mall um so but you see the kids out. You see the kids playing. Um, like I said, you would think it's running like normal aside from the masks here. Oh, and aside from you not know, seeing people out drinking because they're alcohol ban. <laughs> uh, I love Northeast Philly. Well, speaking of Philly, you know, I, I watch, I turn on the news here at six o'clock in the evening, which is 6 a.m. in Philadelphia. And I, and I catch up on the news and stuff. And, you know, there's Geno's and Pat's. Geno's Steak and Pat's Steak, which they're famous down in, in uh, South Philly there. They're, I call it the tourist cheesesteaks. Everybody that comes to Philly, you know, I want to get a cheesesteak. Right, we're going to go to Geno's and Pat's because that's the famous. They're not the best. <laughs> But they're most famous around, I guess, the world. And here the other week, they had a, a fight breakout. And a person was killed in a fight. And I, now, I don't know what they were fighting about. Um, evidently, these people came down from New York. And, 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 and a fight broke out. And somebody died. Somebody died. You know, I, like I said, I don't know what the fight was about. They didn't say, you know, the news was just saying this, you know, fight broke out. They showed it. And a couple of people now were wanted. Um, but, man, what, that's just crazy. That's crazy. Uh, you know, and, and I don't know how it is in the big cities where, where you're from. But, you know, in Philly there, I mean, the number of people and homicides and murders is just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um Highest it's been in a long time. So it's just crazy. It's Christmas time. Everyone needs that money. Yeah, another thing, Chris, is, you know, I got to watch where I walk now uh, because it is Christmas time and things seem to uh, escalate at this time of the year. People want money. Um, so I got to kind of watch where I walk. I won't be going back into no crazy uh, squatter areas or anything like that for a while. Um, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, where are we at here? I get talking. All right, let me see. F the vax into going to alter my DNA. 
You're a fool if you do. Well, that's you cave to what? Go scuba diving. Uh, that's your opinion. That's all it is. It's your opinion. Um, and that's how I look at it. I don't get mad and I don't get angry and scream and holler at the people that, you know, don't get vaccinated. It's this, it's that, it's not, it's it. I don't get mad. I don't get angry. Um, that's a person's opinion. That's a person's opinion. That's all it is. Bro, when you're going to get a haircut, the IG is in the area. Whenever. I I guess I'll get a haircut when I when I want to get a haircut, right? Mark Doyle, how you doing, Mark? You think the Phillies will make it to the playoffs? Uh, we'll see, right? Uh, we'll see. I don't know how many. I, it's another thing I watch on the news. I didn't. I don't know what they're out. Uh, you know how many games behind they are, and who has to lose in order for them to advance. Um, if it's that tight right now, and they haven't clinched a you know a playoff spot, even if they were to make it to the uh, playoffs, you know you got to say to yourself, how far are they actually going to go? Um, but no, I mean I. I, I, I would hope, I hope they make it to the playoffs. So I'm a Phillies fan. I'm a Sixers fan. I'm a Flyers fan, but I'm not an Eagles fan. Um, so yeah, it'd be nice to see them, see them make it to the playoffs. I get behind. Willie and the Willapines. Any cheesesteaks, best cheesesteaks are at any local sub shop in South Jersey. Yeah, Walter, they good cheesesteaks, Jersey, outside Philadelphia. I mean, there's some decent ones even around Philly. Um, but I've always found the best cheesesteaks are kind of out in the suburbs. Yeah. Larry, let's see. What does Larry say? Hey, Brian, off the subject, will you kill me with the beater and jerk and say, <laughs> When you're heading to Walking Street, keep up the humor, man. Hope to meet you when I get back to the Philippines. Yeah, yeah. The Peter boys, the Jerkins boys. Um, I here, Here's another thing. I had a couple people make comment about the last video I did. Oh, you know, you, you know, you should have hell, you know, hid her identity. Well, she was wearing a mask. Um, yeah, come on. When I walk down Walking Street, do you think those are Girl Scouts? Selling Girl Scout cookies down Walking Street. I don't blur their faces out. It's a public. We all know what's going on, and they're not selling Girl Scout cookies, right? Um, yeah. You know, and it's another thing, you know, that, that video I put out was it got 22,000 views. So, I mean, what drew people to that video? You know, I'm sure a lot of them were the Jurgens boys, you know. <laughs> uh, hey Brian, I wish people on both sides were kid dogging each other about the vax. You're right, it's an individual's choice. That's what's called freedom of choice. Love your videos. Yeah. And you're right, you're right. And uh I personally, you know, blame media. Blame media for pitting one group of people against another group of people. It's like they love it. They love it. Um It's, you know, and, and, and this, you know, forcing people, you know, it, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Personal choice. Girls ain't out there to play checkers. You're right, Larry. <laughs> when are we having another shindig with Marcos? I don't know. He's down in, he's back down in uh, Barrio Barreto. Um so I don't know. I don't think we'll be going down to Barry or Beretta anytime soon. Um, you know, Eric and Mercy, they're back. They went back to the States. So I don't know. I don't know. Huh. 
Uh, where are we at? Go Jets. Yeah, right. Johnny Cowboy in the Philippines. Johnny Cowboy, how you doing, Cowboy? I have a great connection for steak and Philly rolls. Oh, oh, my breakfast is here. My breakfast is here, guys. Check this out. Burner boss. Yeah, that's good. Check this out. Bagels from where did I get the bagel? Angel's Bakery. Angel's Bakery fresh bagels. I got bacon from Pinky's Deli. Eggs from down the road. Craft cheese on that. That's the bomb. I usually go up, you know, when I go up to um, up to uh, Tequila Reef there, it's kind of what I order, but sometimes, you know, it, you can't beat it at home. What happened to says style? No clue. No clue. But they will force you to, to, to get the jab, and that is not cool. I don't know. I mean, are they going to force you? How, how would they force you? Um, I, and I, and I said this a while ago, they can't force you, but they'll ring you. They'll ring you. Oh, you want to get on our plane to fly? Oh, you need a shot. Oh, you want to travel into our country? Ah, oh, you need a shot here in the Philippines. Oh, you want to renew your permit for your store and you deal with people all the time? You need a shot. We want, they'll make it to where they ring, they ring you. What choice will you have? And that's what I don't like. You've got companies out there, you know, uh, oh, if you have over 10, what is it, 100 employees, you must get your employees back. <coughs> oh, you work for this company. In order for you to continue to work for this company, you have to get vaccinated. That I totally disagree with. Because, you know, you, you've got your time and you're close to retirement or you got your time in and you love your job. Now, in order to keep it, you're being forced to do something. You're, I disagree with that. But that's how they're going to ring you. That's how they're going to ring you. And I disagree with that. Thank you for viewing La Grande Residence. Plan on staying there when Philippines open. Yeah, they're, they, uh, they're actually building second phase of that and it's coming along pretty good yeah i like la grande's nice i mean it's it's a nice it's a, it it's nice it's far enough away from you know the the nightlife but it's it's a nice it's 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 definitely a nice uh nice place where are we at For a good or great cheesesteak or any New York pizza you can find as good or even better than what you can find in those states. Matter of fact, for the last three years, Arizona held the best pizza in the USA. I, uh, there was a really, really, really good pizza joint here. And I found it, actually found it during lockdown. Then all of a sudden they closed it. They closed it. And they're not open. I say pizza here in the Philippines, at least in our area. It's, it's a matter of what you like. Um, people have said, oh, try this place. It's great pizza. And I've tried it. And like, eh, it's just a matter of what you like. Um, yeah. I, for one, love each and every one of your videos. Thank you, Daryl. That was a long time subscriber. Comments on all the videos. Always has a positive attitude. Always has something very nice to say. I'm old enough to remember the Pilo shot. They did not ask us. They just gave it to us. Oh, the polio. To, yeah. Yeah.
It's like joining with you joined the military. You lined up and they gave you a shot. Boop, boop. Whoever it was, you took it. Hmm. What type of American food do they really need in the Philippines, in your opinion? Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, you can find pretty much anything Western here. It's just the quality. The quality. And if you get the good quality in, you're going to have to raise your prices. You know, that's the thing. Most places that I found here that are of good quality, you're going to pay a little bit more for. Um, you got to remember, too, the thing is, and I've seen it here, a lot of people will come here. I'm going to open up a restaurant. I'm going to sell this product. Great idea. Great thing that the person wants to do. But you also got to figure you're going to have to try to cater somehow to the Filipino people. There's just not enough foreigners here to sustain just a, one single place um, and location. Um, but that's a good question. It's a good question. I mean, I can pretty much find everything here, Westerns-wise, but quality-wise, that's another story. You know, if you're out in the province and you, you want to open up a Western style, American style eating place, you're not going to make it. You know, it has to be done in a, you know, in a city. Hilton, Paris. Is that like Paris, Hilton? Backwards? Why do I wear my sunglasses in the house? Because if I don't wear my sunglasses, right? See my eyes? Then the people would be like, oh, what's wrong with your eyes? Why are your eyes so dark? What's wrong? You need to go eat this. You... So I just wear them to avoid it. Tequila Reef. Oh, hang on. I moved to Arizona. I've been living there for eight years. Can I, can I, cannot find a real good Mexican restaurant? You would think there would be a good Mexican restaurant. You're just... Here it just shows you, yeah. Tequila Reef is pretty good with burritos and many other good foods. Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, it's personal taste because I know some people that uh, have eaten at Tequila Reef and I don't like Tequila Reef. So it's it's once again it's one of those personal tastes. But I like Tequila Reef. I know Bruce likes Tequila Reef because I've eaten breakfast at Tequila Reef with Bruce. So, uh, yeah. Ah. I'm a rock star. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a rock star. Thor Quest. I like his icon. Would you be open to an idea of doing a video from the old Camp O'Donnell Air Station? Yeah. Where's Camp Camp O'Donnell? Yeah, I uh I'll get to them. I'll get to that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've been at Camp O'Donnell. I know I've been up that way, but didn't didn't go to Camp O'Donnell. Wife and I are selling our two-bedroom house in Camarines, Camarines, sir. Looking to buy a Manuela. Do you recommend a condo? That's up to you. 
That's really up to you, Johnny. Uh, if you're into the condo lifestyle, if you like that, uh, it's it, it's really what you're what you want. Um, it's all in what you want. I myself would never move to Manila, but other people like the big city. Um, I, I I can't say yes and I can't say no. Me personally, the condo thing is not for me. Um, but other people do. Other people like it. Um, yeah. You have to live in... Mandaloyong or Makati if you need American restaurants. Yeah. Ricky, when is Philippines opening? I don't know. When we find out, we'll let everybody know. And I'm sure everybody that is interested in coming to the Philippines will know. So I don't know when. I have no clue. And I'm not going to give anybody false hope. I'm not a YouTuber out there that tries to give people false hope. Um, nobody knows. Maybe uh, the almighty Oz might know, <laughs> but nobody knows. So, Kathy. I know you were looking at another house a while back. Have you decided to stay where you are? Yes, Kathy. Um, the landlord came and uh, we talked and uh, we worked out a good deal for the next three years. Um, you know, I, I really didn't want to move from here because we like it here. Suits our needs. It's perfect size for us. Good location for us. Um, and matter of fact, the landlord didn't even want us to move. She's like, oh, no, you can't move, you know, because we pay her. And then she'd have to worry about getting somebody else in here to pay her and worry about rent and worry if people were going to take care of the place. Um, but, yeah, we, we came up with a really, really good deal. So we're going to be staying here for the next three years, which is kind of was our plan to stay in the area because Hannah will finish school and – in those three years, kind of do some traveling, maybe find somewhere else that we would like to um, relocate to. Because I, I really don't, I don't want to stay in Angola City <laughs> the rest of my life. Um, I, I'd like to move somewhere else, preferably, preferably closer to an ocean, and not, no, not too big bay. No, so that's what's going on there, Kathy. Where are we at? The Almighty Eyes. You've been listening to the crap coming out of Jeff's mouth. I don't know which. The only Jeff I know that I'm thinking of, and maybe you're thinking of, and maybe, and uh, I think you're right. It is crap that comes out of his mouth. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hey, Brian, Susan, wife is asking if you have plans to visit states. Wonder how you're supporting Bing. What? How are you, how you're supporting Bing? I don't know what you mean. Supporting Bing. Supporting her? What do you mean? Like, uh, your everyday living here? I mean, what, what do you, what, I mean, supporting her. We're, 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 we're raising her. I mean, well, I don't know what you, what you mean. Don't get a haircut. The swoop back is covering well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, 
I did Hannah Grace and Bing fix your breakfast bagel sandwich. It's really it's great. They are learning to cook now. They're out at the table. They're homework um, online. Their tablet um, doing reading hers. Bing is reading her online schooling on her tablet. Hannah Grace is online. Uh, her online schooling. So they're at the table now. Uh, Louisa fixed the sandwich. They're busy with school right now. I had a second visor vaccination on Tuesday, and I feel fine. Cool. I had my Johnson and Johnson, and I felt good. It's a little tired, that's all. Hi, uh, Brian. I'm, glad I'm sure the quality of meat is good there. It depends on if the chef knows how to fix it or put their Filipino twist on it. Yeah. Yeah, I, the quality of the meat, you're right. It's, it's, it's all in the chef. It's on the chef, how he prepares it, how he makes it, how he cooks it. Um, but then again, I've been in this, bit into some beef here, and it was just ugh, had nothing to do with the chef. It was the quality of the meat. They will be expert cooks when they learn to make a BLT with cheese on a Western sandwich. Yeah. Now, Bing Bing's always out in the kitchen in the evening when Lutz cooking and stuff. And she likes being out there and helping and preparing and cutting up onions and garlic and doing all that little stuff like that, like the prepper. She likes doing stuff like that. And I thought to Lud, I told her, so you know what, maybe, you know, Bing will get to the, you know, when Bing is older, maybe she want to be a chef or a cook. You never know. Uh, they have culinary schools here and stuff. Um, so time will tell. Time will tell. Now, Hannah knows how to cook a few things, um, like Bing Bing. You know, they, they all know how to cook rice, eggs, hot dogs, the simple things. Um, but, yeah, they uh, Bing's always out there. Yeah. Uh, where are we at? Hey, Philly, this is the first time I'm able to catch you. How are you and your family doing? Timmy, we are doing well. And uh, thanks for stopping in, saying hello. I just kind of, um, I don't know, I just said, let me do a live show today. <laughs> Yeah, uh, unreliable electric in the Philippines is about double the cost of the USA at about 25 cents a kilowatt. Yep, that's one thing here. If you rent a place, buy a place, depending on where you're renting and where you're buying, it's cheap. But electric, for some reason, is expensive here. Yeah. Bobby says, what about the earthquake... How about the earthquake the Philippines had last night? Uh, I think I read something about that. Um, I'm not mistaken. I've seen it was down near Mindoro. Which, you know, they got that volcano down there or down, down that way to Al. And it's still acting up. It's still puffing smoke. It's still burping. Um, and when we were down there, about a month or two ago, we felt that earthquake that was down there. <clears throat> I did I did read a little bit. I didn't go into finding out exact location, but I think it was down that way. Yeah. All right. You know what, guys? I'm going to wrap this one up. I have uh, things to do today. I fixed that drain. The drain... See, I'm pointing that way, but the camera, anyways, I fixed that drain, that clogged sink. Um, God, it, 
It never fails. It never fails. I unclogged it all. Got it all cleaned out. Water's flowing. Go to the hardware store. I'm like, I need a tube of silicone. Tried to explain to them what I wanted. They, they, they had something, but it wasn't what I was wanting. The guy's like, oh, you can use this, this little putty stuff. Use this putty stuff. It's good. It will work. It will work. It was like 200 pesos, four bucks for this thing. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me, let me try this, you know. Because, you know, you expect the people working there to know what they're talking about. <laughs> let me try this. So you bring it home, and it's like silly putty. You guys remember that silly putty? It's like silly putty. Um, you cut off what you need, and then you, you blend it all together, and it becomes like silly putty. Then you take it, you put it in the form, and you put it in, uh, in uh, you know, the area that you want it to... to uh, to, to patch and everything like that. And I had it all set up and I was going to do it. But then the shit sticks to your fingers. You can't get it in anything or get it into the area where you need it to adhere to and set up. And it just it kept, as soon as you got it to where you wanted to, you know, get it and you pulled away, it would stick to your fingers. And I'm like, once again, junk. So crazy no it wasn't even plumber's putty i know what plumber's putty is and it wasn't even plumber's putty it was chinese shit putty <laughs> that's the best way anyways i'm like i'm done with this no i'm not even playing again so i went down to um wilcon wilcon is is what i call like the Lowe's or the home depot here i mean they got good good quality tools good quality products good quality everything so I went in there and bought some silicone, but I'm looking at the tube and I told the kid, I said, where's the tip? You know, where's the tip that you screw on and, you know, you cut and then you, and uh, he didn't know. And it was crazy. It was crazy. Finally, somebody else comes over and I'm like, where are the tips? You know, where are the tips that you screw on so you can put it in your, you know, your putty gun and, oh, when you go up to the counter, ask them for it. So I'm like, all right. Hello, Robert. How you doing, Robert? I'm getting ready to go off the air. Um, so anyways, I uh, got what I needed, came home. I fixed that. That runs great now. Um, that little machine, that little handheld thing, that was great. Um, try putting soap and water on your hands next time. Yeah, there won't be a next time with that putty crap. Um, I wanted silicone anyways, but like I said, they didn't, they didn't have the type of silicone I wanted so you know I, I guess I shouldn't have just gotten any you know went to where I was anyways um, but anyways guys I'm gonna wrap this one up uh, keep hanging in there uh, things will get better 27th maybe maybe by the end of this month they'll lift the alcohol ban but then again you never know because the end of next month is all souls day and Halloween and you know oh People are going to gather together again. So, hey, let's uh, let's ban alcohol. And then uh, then you're going to have Christmas come up. So, yep, we're going to have to. Who knows? Who knows? So, anyways, no, I'm going to eat the rest of this bagel. No, I'm, I'm eating this one, Jared. So, anyways, guys, um, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for saying hello and thanks for your questions. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.